Welcome back Outriders and today I'm bringing you one of the coolest builds that is out there right now. Golding CT-15s have never been this fun. Never. This is by far the coolest thing in the world. I, I, it's just so much fun. If you want to go ahead and Kamehameha like our boy Goku over here, then this build is exactly what you need to be running because this thing just shreds everything in its path. Let's go ahead and get into this build because goddamn, I cannot wait to show it to you. Let's go. All right, Outriders, so the first thing we're gonna be looking at here is the skills. As you know, this build is focused around the phaser beam. All right, it's gonna fire an energy beam that deals about 300K damage about, as you can see, that benefits from 210% of status power inflicting burn and causing interrupt to enemies hit by the beam, as well as enemies within a small radius around it. All right, this was not so well until they actually buffed it. And they buffed it hard, all right? This thing is nasty. All right, so we're gonna be using this as the first skill that we're gonna be using is the phaser beam. The next one we're gonna be using is the thermal bomb. All right, we're gonna pair this with branded just like we do in the debuff build because this build is not too far <clears throat> away from the debuff build itself. All right, so you actually do not have to change that much to get this build going. All right, so you're gonna be using the thermal bomb. And the next one you're gonna be using is the heat wave. Obviously, just like the debuff build, you're gonna be running. Instead, we're gonna be running two heat waves in this build, not three. And we're gonna be using burnout so it applies the debuff. All right, so those are the skills that you're gonna to wanna to be using. As you can see here, for me, I have this phaser beam down to about six seconds for its cooldown. Um, and actually, as my actual build rotation, which you will see later, um, it actually works out perfect. So by the time that my rotation is over, um, I will be able to actually just repeat the rotation again, hitting that phaser beam every time, including the debuffs. It is nasty. But those are the skills that we're gonna be using. Let's go ahead and look at the class tree. Let's go. All right, guys, so now we're gonna be looking at the class tree we're going to be using. There's many different variations you can use for the class tree, which is amazing. For my full debuff build, I do use the bottom tree, but for this phaser beam debuff build, I will be using the middle tree, the firestorm section of the tree. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start here as usual, but instead we're gonna go down just two. Okay, so this is gonna increase our anomaly power by 6%. All right, then we're gonna go down and we're gonna get a reduced cooldown for your explosive skills, all right? Crucial. <clears throat> this build needs a lot of cooldown reduction in order to keep that rotation, you know, going at all, all times without losing any damage or debuff for your teammates as you go along. All right, so we're only gonna take those, those two down here on the Tempest tree. All right, then we're gonna go back up and we're gonna start this middle tree. All right, we're gonna take this first one to increase your health a little bit, which believe me, it helps a lot. All right, then you're gonna go down and you're gonna grab more cooldown, all right? You're gonna go up and grab this for even more max health, all right? Then we're gonna go down one, as you see here, grab Wildfire, a wildfire to increase more skill cooldowns. All right, as you said, we, you know, that is the point. We wanna be able to make sure that these skills are off cooldown as quickly as possible. All right, so once we get that bottom one, we're gonna keep it going. We're gonna grab this bottom one called Meltdown. Burn effect afflicted on enemies deals 20% more damage, which is perfect for this build, obviously. All right, we're gonna keep it going. We're gonna grab this one, which is gonna increase even more health. Then we're gonna go ahead and go down with this one, grab Extinction, increases damage by 20% against enemies below 30% health. That is fantastic, I love it, love it. All right, we're gonna keep moving on here. We're gonna go up and grab Gifted to increase weapon damage and anomaly power by 5%. We're gonna keep it going, going down, getting even more max health by 10%. Uh, at this point, I'm feeling pretty tanky, you know? I'm up in that face hitting those debuffs. Come on, man. You know, hitting those phaser beams like it's freaking night and day. I love it. Love it. Anyway, let's keep it going. All right, we're also going to grab Distant Flame here. Increase your anomaly power by 2.5% for each unlocked Magma Golem class node. All right. 
We're going to keep it going here. We're going to go ahead and grab this one. Unquenchable increases your skill leech by 6%. Then we're going to go ahead and grab another one of these, the Magnum Golem, for another 10%. You know, look at this. 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%. That's 50% health right there. You're feeling good. You're feeling strong, you know. Arnold strong, you know what I mean? You know. <laughs> Let's keep it moving. And we're going to go ahead and grab, um, <clears throat> go up here, as I said. We're going to grab the lava one here. Activating ignite skills increases your armor by 45% for 10 seconds. Once again, awesome. Getting more health, more armor. This build is just, you feel like a tank. All right, keep it going. We're going to grab the fuel for the embers. Okay, double skill life leads with another 30% of your max health. We're going to grab both of these trial by fire. And we're gonna grab warm up here. And then we're gonna go grab the last one in the tree to complete the firestorm tree. This is the exact tree I like to use. Like I said here, this is 50% more health. And then you also get this one, which gives you 45% more armor for 10 seconds when you use one of the ignite skills. All right, so this is fantastic. I love this class tree for this phaser beam build, it works perfectly well let's go ahead and get into the actual gear and the mods that you want to use for this build let's go all right outriders so let's get into the actual gear and mods that you're going to want to use for this phaser beam build all right we're going to start off here what i like to use the animoy and the death shield obviously with moaning winds and fortress on it once again moaning winds and fortress on it all right and we're also going to go ahead and take the pistol up i'm pretty much holding the pistols most of the time that we're running the pistols will be in my hand um i do roll fortress on here for the 43 percent uh, damage bonus based on your armor and i also like it because it has status power on it that's another 30 percent status power right there all right so those are the weapons that i like to use for this there's a bunch of different variations that you can use uh, that people do use which is absolutely fine but this is what i like to use up for this build all right so then we're going to move it over all right we're going to go to the actual gear all right you're going to be running a three-piece akari set just like we did with the full debuff build and like i said before you really don't have to move and change much to actually switch it from a full debuff build to a phaser beam debuff build all right this build is amazing because not only does it debuff for your team and you pretty much get a full debuff you're getting double thermal bombs plus two heat waves you know so that's pretty stacked debuff and not only that now you're able to actually apply damage for yourself so now you're not just sitting there you know with all the you know just debuffing you're actually able to apply damage and do good damage with the phaser beam and it's a lot of fun all right, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna grab the um, <clears throat> the armor, uh, the helmet of Akari. I'm sorry. All right, uh, it has the anomaly power, skill, life leech, the status power, and I'm going to be running fire tsunami on it and burnt out just like I would for the full debuff build. I don't believe I even had to change anything on my helmet. All right, so this is going ahead and gonna increase the the heat wave wall for it, and then the burnout is actually is what's gonna make the actual heat wave skill a debuff itself. All right, so let's move along to the armor of the Akari once again. Anomaly power, it has skill life leech and cooldown reduction, which is huge in this build. You're gonna to want to try to get as much cooldown reduction as you possibly can. All right, so I'm going to be going ahead and run. I'm going to put thermal bomb. I'm sorry. I'm going to put branded on here, which is used for thermal bomb. All right, this is going to uh, pretty much make thermal bomb a debuff. All right, 40% more damage, baby. 40% more damage. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and put tidal wave on this one, which is going to give me that second heat wave that we're going to be using in this build. All right, the next thing we're running is the waist cloth of the Akari. Once again, anomaly power, skill life leech, and cooldown reduction. As you keep hearing me say, cooldown reduction is crucial. All right, and the legs come with the anomaly echo, which we're going to leave on there because that is great. And I'm also going to roll 
frequent phaser okay once again as you will keep hearing me say cooldown reduction is key all right frequent phaser will reduce the skills cooldown by 30 percent all right that is amazing so this right whenever you you're, you know comes along in your rotation it is ready to use always all right so we're going to be using that three piece sakari you know for that 50 percent anomaly power bonus for 10 seconds so we get that set piece bonus all right, these last two pieces, we're gonna be running purples. All right, I'm on these gloves right now. What I have is anomaly power and status power. I do want cooldown reduction eventually once I can. I will be changing that. All right, the first thing we're gonna be getting on here is the fire frenzy, which is gonna give me that second thermal bomb that we need. All right, two thermal bombs and two heat waves you're gonna be using, all right? We're also gonna roll Captain Hunter on here, which is gonna increase your damage to at least by 25%, all right? So that is perfect right there. We're gonna move along to the feet, all right? You're gonna see that I have anomaly power as always, always gonna be anomaly power. Your healing receives eh, and then cooldown reduction is always as much as you possibly can get as you saw before when we we're going over the skills i had my phaser beam down to about six seconds which is perfect for the rotation of this build all right so the first mod we're going to be using here is size matters okay this is going to increase the beams radius by a hundred percent all right, so if you're looking down, say, Coliseum, which you will see in some clips, all right, you will literally just be able to fire it directly down the middle, right, as that start goes, you know, long, narrow ways, and it's just going to clear everything. Everything's just going to die. You're just going to see millions of numbers popping up. It's, it's amazing, all right? So that's going to increase. Those are critical, critical, all right? The ones critical are frequent phaser, 30%. All right, 30%, and then you need the size matters. Those are the two critical mods that you need for a debuff pyro phaser build, all right? Crucial, all right? Now, what I'm running here is volcanic armor. What this does is reducing, it reduces incoming anomaly damage by 65% and weapon damage by 65% when the skill is active. So when I'm in the middle of doing the skill, all right, when I'm in the middle of it, I'm pretty much negating all 65% anomaly damage and 65% weapon damage from from any enemy. All right, which is great if you're if you're like me and you like to stand in the wide open and just boom because you know you know the phaser, the heat wave, the thermal bomb, all those skills can go through walls. They can go through everything. Okay, so it doesn't matter. You can be standing behind a wall and you can kill an enemy. So. You know, that's, you know, unfortunately, I, that's not really my sort of play style. Uh, I like to be right up in there in the, you know, in the action. Uh, but I will be removing this mod. Um, if I could, I would put it somewhere else. But unfortunately, I cannot. But it is not needed. This is not a crucial crucial part of the build it does help you survive a little longer when you do like to stay there and use that uh you know laser you know phaser beam um but what you're gonna want to roll here and most importantly is ashen champion i do not have that mod at the moment i am still grinding for it unfortunately but the mod itself does come off of the lava lich helmet that's what you're looking for. That's what it comes off of. It's a T3 mod, and it is amazing, all right? It's an amazing mod. You're going to need that mod. You don't necessarily need it. As you can tell, this damage in this build is superb without it, but it is fantastic if you can have it. Ashen Champion Tier 3 mod comes off of the Lava Lich Helmet, all right? You're going to want that, and once I get it, I will be rolling that onto here over volcanic armor and i will be getting rid of that and then the build will be a hundred percent complete all right like i said guys it's not too far off from the full debuff build there's only two critical mods that you do need in this build and it's frequent phaser and size matters all right um those are two crucial ones that you would need to change up from your full debuff build um but it's not that much and it's a lot of fun guys it's so much fun as you've seen this build is amazing absolutely freaking amazing that's what you got right there that is all the gear and all the mods that you're going to need once again lava lich helm ashen champion is going to be that tier three mod i'm going to roll here that you're going to want that you're going to want all right guys so let's go ahead and take you over to the actual rotation for the build itself we're going to go ahead and enter a coliseum and i'm going to show you exactly what you're going to want to do let's go
All right, all right, so let's go ahead and get into the actual rotation for this build. The first thing that I like to do is I like to empty the entire clip so we can get Moaning Winds ready to proc when needed. So we're going to empty both the Death Shield and the Animoy, and we're going to go ahead and switch to our pistols. And this is the way I like to run pretty much the whole time. All right, the only thing I'm gonna be doing is switching to my shotguns, which is gonna proc Moaning Winds every time through the rotation. Okay, there's gonna be two Moaning Winds built into this rotation, all right? So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, we're gonna do just like the debuff build would be. You're gonna hit him with the thermal bombs, hit him with the heat waves, all right? Then we're gonna to go to phaser. All right, so we're gonna get rid of these little ads real quick. We'll just waste that. Maybe they're all probably gonna die, see ya. Do, do, do. Let's proc a little moaning winds real quick. A little moaning winds again. All right, here we go. Thermal bomb, thermal bomb, heat wave, heat wave, phaser beam. Boop. See ya. Look at that. Look at all of them. Dead. Dead. Gone, guys. Once again, thermal bomb, thermal bomb, heat wave, phaser beam. Boom. Gone. And then we're going to switch moaning winds. All right, so the full build rotation. Two thermal, two thermal bombs, two heat waves, then your phaser beam, right? Then you're gonna hit proc your moaning winds, you're gonna proc the other moaning winds, you're gonna switch back, and your thermal bombs will be up again for you to use as well. All right, let's get released this real quick. All right, let's go through this again, all right? Thermal bomb, thermal bomb, heat wave, heat wave, phaser beam. All right, there's gonna be usually a lot of ads behind you where you're gonna proc moaning winds, proc moaning winds again thermal bomb thermal bomb heat wave heat wave and then let's get a little phaser beam come on man. and they are just gone guys just shredded all right it's that easy all right all right so let's take a look at this rotation going up against like a brood mother all right so let's take a look we're going to do the exact same rotation okay Thermal bomb, thermal bomb, heat wave, heat wave, phaser beam. Then we're gonna cycle through our shotguns using the moaning winds twice and then going back into thermal. All right, here we go. Thermal bomb, thermal bomb, heat wave, heat wave, phaser beam. All right, I'm gonna run towards her. I'm gonna prop my moaning winds. Boom, prop my moaning winds again. I'll still look at 2.5 for each one. Hit her again with two thermal bombs. Proc that morning, uh, proc that heat wave again. Boom, phaser beam. The rotation never stops. Boom, there we go. Two more uh, moaning winds. Boom, thermal bomb, thermal bomb, heat wave. Watch these guys get ripped. Watch this. Come on, boom. They're all gone, roasted. Well, all riders, I hope you enjoy the build. Thank you guys so much for coming by. If you ever need any help or just a teammate to run with. Feel free to come by my Twitch. I stream five days a week. I run with everybody. I help everybody. You can find the link in the description. Just because I'm not streaming doesn't mean that this beautiful community is still not running. Feel free to join the Discord. Also, the link is in the description. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys on Enoch. Peace.